Hey guys, welcome to another video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. Friends, as you know that many times while we are working on Excel, we have to face the situation or we have the case where we need to separate or extract data from one cell into multiple cells that may be two or more than two cells. This mostly happens when we are dealing with different applications that may be any HR department related application or maybe any production or accounting related application. Why? Because most of the times when we extract or when we export data from such applications, mostly the data is not properly arranged. Sometimes the cells are merged and sometimes uh, some data is also merged. Sometimes we can arrange this data by using built-in features and commands of Microsoft Excel. But sometimes we have to use a little bit of our logic and some basic functions to do this thing. I will show you examples of both things or both cases so that you can better understand that what we are going to learn in this tutorial. So let's start. Here you can see we have two types of sample data. In first type of data we have employee name in separate column and employee number in separate column. For this data we want to extract first name, middle name and last name of employee into different or separate columns. For this we can use excel features or excel commands that are built in. Ok how we can do this? For this we will just go to data, in data we will go to text to columns and then here we will delimit it this is ok. We will go to next and we will separate this, this text based on space. As you can see first name, middle name and last name is separated by space. So we will just go for next and then we will select here destination as we want to extract this data into these three columns. This is ok. We have selected this. We will go for finish and ok and here we go. You can see for such type of data we can use built in features or commands of excel. Now the second type of data. Let's say that we have been exported this data from our HR department related application. What we find in this data we found that in this data employee name and employee number is merged with each other in each cell. What we want to achieve we want to separate employee name and employee number from this data. I don't know that if there is any built in feature or command of excel that we can use here directly to separate this data. I don't know if you know just let me know also in comments below. For now to separate this data we will use a little bit of our logic and some basic functions. Which functions we are going to use? We are going to use these 5 functions. These are very basic functions. The one best thing in excel is that most of the functions when we see name of function we know that what this function can do. For example here find we know that find we used to find something right. So this find function actually gives us exact location of any number of or digit in any cell. For example if we want to know location of this 2 this will give us exact location of 2 in this cell. So what we will do we will use find function and then we will place bracket here and we will do insert here all numbers from 0 to 9. Why we placed here all these numbers from 0 to 9 because we want to find location of all these numbers from 0 to 9 because we don't know in these cells which number we have and which numbers we don't have because these are just maybe 7 or 8 employee numbers but where we have maybe more than 300 or 400 employees we will not know that in employee numbers we do we have all these numbers or maybe we have some specific numbers so as a precaution we have been placed here all these numbers that we want to find location of all these numbers right so we will insert comma where we want to find location of these numbers in this cell we will close bracket and you can see here it gives us 15 why it gives us 15 because it will pick first number that is 0 from this uh, data and then it will start searching for location of 0 here it found that 0 is on 15th number in this data therefore it gives us 15th as a result but now what we want to do what we will do we will use a minimum function also and we will use here and sign inverted comma or quotation mark and then again from 0 to 9 all numbers so again quotation mark and here we go now uh, why we did this just it is better uh, you will better understand if we go we will go to formula we will evaluate formula now you can see what we have been written here formula in find function we have been written all numbers 0 to 9 then we inserted that we want to find location of these numbers in the cell 
and then we insert it along the cell we inserted all numbers from 0 to 9 because if find function along with the minimum function if find function cannot find location of all these numbers as we know because here there is only 2 1 0 and 2 if find function would not be able to find location of all these numbers it will give us error so therefore as a precaution we have again inserted all numbers from 0 to find 0 to 9 so now evaluate see it has been merged this data of this cell and these 0 to 9 numbers you can see here now this is first step of this function now again evaluate now uh, what it will do this find function will take all these numbers one by one and it will find location of these numbers in this data so now you will see evaluate now you can see zero this is location of zero one two this these are locations of these numbers in this cell so you can see here the first cell is the first number is starting from 13 mean employee number is starting from 13th number now what we minimum function will do it will give us minimum number from all these numbers that minimum number will show that employee number is starting from this number so result is 13 mean employee number is starting from this 13th number 13th if we count from here to here this will be 12 so on 13th number employee number is starting so we want to extract all these 12 alphabets from the left side so for that we will use left function left function what it does it extracts data or text or number from any cell from left side so we want to separate employee name employee name is on left side as we know from this employee number is starting from 13 so mean employee name is up to 12 the number so what we will do we will use here left function we want to extract data from which, which cell from this cell how many numbers we want to extract we want to extract 12 as we know that from 13 employee number is starting and we want to separate employee number from employee name so we will just select this that from 13 it is starting so we will go one number back side minus one close bracket and here we go and you can see here this is simply name of employee we will just track it down for all these cells and these are see on from 11th number employee number is starting from 15th number employee number is starting we will just drag it down again to extract the employee name and here we go so it is better to uh, use separate these both functions we will just copy these functions and in place of using indirectly we will just place this whole function here and you can see here now we have employee names now we want to separate employee number and we know that employee number is on right side employee number is starting from 13 and it is on right side so what we will do we will first of all we will count all these number or we will count number of alphabets or numbers in this cell so for that we will use lan function lan function what it does it gives us actual number of uh, alphabets or numbers or spaces whatever it combines all and it gi gives us how many number of alphabets spaces or numbers are there in any cell so we will close bracket and you can see there are total 17 number of uh, including alphabets spaces and whatever so our employee number is starting from 13 so to get employee number we need to separate from 13 to 17 so what we will do see from 13 to 17 17 minus 13 plus 1 so on in this cell on the right side the last five things are our employee number so we will use here right function to separate data from right side from this cell we want to separate data how many things are how many alphabets are how many digits we want to separate from right side we know that we want to separate five digits so here we go just we will drag it down this will give us number of alphabets spaces and everything in each cell and we will also drag it down that this minus this plus one these are five so we will also drag it down because we have been used here this combination of these both so friends you can see we have been separated employee name and employee number by using a little bit of our logic and some basic functions I hope that you would have been understood this whole tutorial if you don't understand just let me know we can discuss in below comments also if you need this sheet for practice just give me your email id in below comments i will send you this sheet so that's all see you in next video thanks for watching bye bye